In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus Na2S. This is iron 3 nitrate plus sodium sulfide. The first thing we need to do when we work with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. Let's try to balance the nitrates first. I have three here and just one here. So I could put a three in front of the sodium nitrate, and that would balance the nitrates, but I have three sodiums here and only two here. So it's kind of awkward. I think what I'll do is I'll double that. I'll make it six so it's an even number. So now I have six sodium atoms and only two here. Put a three here. Three times two is six. Balances the sodiums. Three sulfurs. I got three sulfurs here. That's good. I have six nitrates now and three nitrates here. So I'm going to double the iron three nitrate. That'll balance the nitrates. Now I have two irons, but I have two irons here. That's the balanced molecular equation. Bit of work for this one. Next, we can write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble. If you know your solubility rules. So we're going to AQ for aqueous. That'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. Put aqueous there. But sulfides in general aren't soluble. That means they won't dissolve in water. They'll be a solid, like this Fe2S3. And since it's a solid, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Then sodium compounds, nitrate compounds, very soluble. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on iron, but we do know that nitrate is always, the whole nitrate ion is always one minus, and we have three of them, so this has to be three plus. So we have two iron, three ions. I won't write the states, let's do that at the end. And three nitrates times two, so six nitrate ions. Then sodium is in group one on the periodic table, that'll be one plus the sulfide ion, two minus. So we have two times three, six sodium atoms, and three times the one sulfide, so three sulfide ions, two minus. These are our reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. We're just going to write Fe2S3, and then we have plus and minus here. So six sodium ions, just like the reactants, plus six nitrate ions. And these are the products in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions that appear on both sides. So I have my reactants and my products. I see I have six nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Six sodium atoms, again in the products. Spectator ions, they're crossed out. What's left, that's going to be the net ionic equation here for FeNO3 3 plus Na2S. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron 3 nitrate plus sodium sulfide. You'll notice that charge is balanced. I have 2 times 3 plus. That's 6 plus. 3 times 2 minus is 6 minus. That's 6 plus, 6 minus. Net charge is 0. This is neutral, so the net charge is 0. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus Na2S. Thanks for watching.